Hey there everyone, Taish here, back again and let's get started with our JavaScript to-do list application. I hope you have watched the previous video, otherwise this one will not make much sense. So let's get started and first foremost we are gonna take down our HTML because that's the front end part and then we'll be linking up things on to CSS and then to-do list part. I'll try to make sure that in this video we actually take down our HTML boilerplate at least. So what is the plan? The plan is really simple. We want to create a one big division that is going to be container for holding all of our to-dos and we can assign some stylings on that and inside that further we are going to have a simple division for having our input, uh, our two buttons for add and removing the to-do list and in the outside part or probably a second division what we're going to have is the list item. Uh, basically we'll be using unordered list and that will include our input checkbox as well as labels so just it gives a field of to do so that's the plan and let's just get started so inside our body first of all we're going to have a division that is going to have a style of container there we go so there we go this is our big main division and inside this division we are going to have uh, controls there we go so this control division will have uh, probably first of all an h1 tag that says uh, my awesome to do there we go so that's our first part and in the second part i would like to have an input and that is going to be of type text no problem there and id is going to be uh probably let's use an input uh, because we just have one input in this case so that's our ba very basic very first one i would like to have a line break here so i'm going to be just saying br there we go got a line break and on to a separate line we will have two buttons so I'm gonna say button there we go and we need two so command shift D or control shift D to copy and paste that and uh, probably we can hit command Z because I can add some more properties and then can duplicate it so command Z and this button is gonna say uh, add new or add to do something like that and this button will have some of the classes I have pre-written some of the classes that I'll be showing you in a minute so it's gonna have a class of or probably not the class actually we are gonna go for IDs in this case because we'll be using things like get element by ID feel free to have class as well in case you want to use like query selector that is also totally fine first and foremost let's have a type because that's the one missing up and that's gonna be button okay that is good and then finally we are gonna have an ID for it and this is gonna have an ID of obviously add and now I can press command shift D or control shift D to duplicate that all I have to do here is instead of add this is going to be remove and we are going to call this as remove to do or remove done to do's so there we go and I should probably disconnect my JavaScript alert because that can be annoying so I'm going to just remove that and obviously this color is very very so uh we're gonna for temporary we are gonna have something which is grayish c1 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 a little bit grayish that looks pretty smooth save that and there we go so how does it look pretty decent we have my awesome to do and an input box a button that says add to do remove done to do so that is awesome now let's have a couple of things so we are going to go outside of this control and we're going to create Probably you can wrap that in a separate division as well if you wish. I'm going to go directly for UL, unordered list. And this unordered list is going to have an ID of list. There we go. Hit tab and there we go. Now in this unordered list, I want to create a list item. And this list item will have a class of my check. There we go. Now inside this list item, I will have two things, an input and a label. Now notice very closely here how I am designing this li. First of all, I'm creating an li, then I'm generating an input, then I'm generating a label because when I will be adding some to-dos, I will have to do all these things via my JavaScript. So I'll be using a lot of create element, create element, or create element, create child, and all these stuff, okay? So first and foremost, I need an input. Oops, input. And this input is gonna be of type checkbox, okay? and is also going to have an id id is going to be called as check okay and i can toggle my soft wrap uh, which in this case called word wrap okay so there we go we have an id of check once we are outside this input notice we are still inside our li we're going to go for a label 
and this label don't need actually a for uh, we are not sending it anywhere as of now if you would be sending it to something like node or mongo we can surely use for but right now it's just okay i just need a label here okay and this label is going to say something like uh, go to gym there we go now what i can do is i can copy this and uh, i can paste it one more time and this time it is all good but also i want to check add one more property in this input i'm calling this property because i have been coding quite a lot in react uh, so what i have to write is simply checked okay that's it so how does it look instead of the go to gym i'm gonna say record youtube videos come on there we go okay how does it look? Notice the first one is automatically checked because we added a property there called check. Again, I said it property, but it's an attribute. Anyways, and we are completely able to do all these things. So this is our bare minimum to do's. In case you have this much only, feel free to work this much only because uh, all the things that we'll be writing in our uh, to do.js will be able to work on this as well. But since I don't like it, I wanted to make it a little bit more fancy. So that is why I will be adding some pre-written CSS for it. I will be pausing the video and you can just copy and write that here. Since this class is not based much on the CSS, that's why I'm not paying much attention to that. But still, I'll be pointing out a couple of points here. So we can just simply select all of that and paste that. And let me show you what are the points that you should be worried about because on based on that, we will be working on that. Now, first and foremost, when you'll be seeing this inside this container ID, uh, probably we do have container ID and I called it as class. Uh, let me just show you that. Uh, yeah, we actually called it class. We either have to change it here or there, so it's better that we change it here. So it's gonna be ID and rest should be fine so there we go save it save this as well so when you check out inside this container and list item notice when we are generating any item uh, by default the opacity is zero so you will not be able to see it okay and also notice this transition so we are using an ease out so that everything just smoothly comes out and goes on so that's the one part opacity is zero by default for this list item. Now, until and unless you go to the bottom of this and you see this class, which is my check, then only we are overwriting that property, which is opacity is one. And also if we add this class visual, then also we are adding this opacity one. And notice we are using an important so that in case anything else is uh, being mentioned on this style class, we just overwrite all of that. So these are important point because this is the reason why we will be having some smooth transition in our application. So just save that and you will be noticing that it looks really amazing, awesome. It's still the same thing, uh, but I just have styled it a little bit differently. And you know what, I can just uh, add a little bit more to it. And I can just say somewhere, if I can figure it out, uh, I'll make it 800 so that it is a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. So this is our to-do application and uh, we'll be working on it. Again, if you don't want to work on it, that's totally fine. Now let me just show you that. So you can pause the video and you can write that. So zooming out a little bit. So this is the first, first part of it. Uh, just right here, pause the video and uh, then we have, this is the second part. You can pause the video here and can write all of this. And this is now the third part of it. You can pause it right in here. And finally, this one, uh, this part. I know these are a lot of style sheets. And uh, that's the final one. Okay, so I hope uh, you got it. Now again, since this video is not about styling of the stuff, that's why I'm not paying much attention to that. Otherwise, we'll be keep digging onto the styles only. So that's it. Now our to-do application is ready and we can start writing actually the meat part of this entire course. And again, I repeat that again, in case you don't have any styling, still all of our to-do uh, JavaScript code will be working absolutely fine. Uh, I will be pointing out the point where the opacity is needed and how you can just avoid that as well. So that's it. And of course, once we are done with the series, everything, all these exercise files will be available to you. So that's it for this video. And in the next video, we will be writing some JavaScript for this application.